We're seeing you now here on Head of the Class. What was it about the character or about this series itself that made you want to be a part of the show? I mean, so many different reasons. I loved uh, everyone who I saw was a part of it immediately because I knew the, I was familiar with their work and I thought all of their work was really great. And also the ensemble cast. I love working with an ensemble cast because you can really bounce off of other people and that's really fun when you're performing. So all of those things and also the fact that it was such a loved show in the 80s and 90s and I wanted to really make sure whoever did it would do it justice and I feel like I hopefully could do something you know give people what they were looking for and hoping for with this so there were so many reasons and I'm really glad that I went with it. How was Terrell originally described to you? So Terrell was originally described as, well, one thing I remember from the original breakdown was uh, someone that loved quoting The Rock because that was something that was in the, in the first project breakdown that I don't think made it all the way through. But that was one thing originally, the things that did make it through. He was an optimist, the captain of the swim team, a really hard worker, someone who bounces in between all the subgroups within the larger group. All those things that were originally described made it through. So there were a, a lot of different things. Was there anything you added to the character then that wasn't in that initial breakdown? I would say just the the bits of me that I put into the character that you could no one could necessarily write down. It's just something that I brought to it. Just my my personal experiences and just different things that I felt like would work with the character. I I just put into it and and went with it. I think you mentioned a little bit that you were familiar with some of your co-stars before working with them here on Head of the Class. Who were you yeah. familiar with? Yeah, so uh, oddly enough, Gavin and I, we had been in the same circles for years before, but it never completely crossed paths. Katie Beth and I, who plays Sarah, we had known each other for, I want to I want to say since 2018. And then uh, I think, let me go through everyone. Yeah, that's that's everyone who I was familiar with before. <laughs> Oh, wait, you're still on mute. Sorry about that. What does it mean to you to be working with, excuse me. What does it mean to you to be working with iconic actress Robin Givens? It was amazing. It, it means the world to me, honestly. It's, it's not every day you get to work with someone who's so iconic and legendary. Um, so it, it, was, it was an amazing experience, honestly. I couldn't have asked for it to be better. You never really know what you're going to get when you're working with someone of such a high caliber because they could just be very you know straight to the point they're about work and nothing else but although miss robin was ultimately there for work she was such a friendly person she was just such a great person to be around and i would if she wants to come back which hopefully she does love to do it again there's so many standout moments and so many favorite episodes that people have had from watching this new version of Head of the Class. Are there a particular standout moments or maybe favorite episodes that hold a special place in your heart? Oh, that's a, well, I remember shooting, the shooting the alley scenes, and I want to say that's episode five, YOLO. Shooting the alley scenes, that's when I felt like everything really clicked into place as far as like us feeling like, okay, we really, we know the characters, we know the show, we have the feel of it. Things, and things started going really smoothly. Things were going smoothly before, but that was a moment I remember in particular where things really just kind of snapped into place. You're a part of social media. What kind of fan feedback have you been receiving to the series? Thankfully, people really like the show. I mean, of course, there's been mixed reviews as there is with anything, but people seem to really like it. I really like it. And I'm really glad that people are enjoying it. It's, it seems as though as much as I did. Are you guys, do you guys hang out together much off screen as you do get to spend on screen? Well, if we were all in the same city, we definitely would. But uh, no one, as, aside from Jolie, Isabella and Jorge, everyone else lives either across the country or in Dior's case, who plays Robin, she lives across the world in Iran. So everyone is kind of spread out, but we do still talk. We have a group chat. We still seem, send memes back and forth with each other. So we're so close. We just don't get to see each other that often. What does it mean to you to be a part of the return to such an iconic series from the 80s? 
I mean, it, it's a great feeling. The 80s was a very iconic era, I feel like, for film and TV. There's so many recognizable um, IPs from that time. So, I mean, it, it's it's a great feeling. I'm really happy that I get to be a part of it. I really, again, feel like we are doing justice to what people are are looking for with the show. It's just a really, it's a really happy show. It's a really bright show. It has heart. It's just a, a good sitcom. What makes now the perfect time to return to it as well? Oh, that's a good question. I feel like now people really want brightness. People really want levity. People really want, in a sense, a form of escapism, which I feel like art has always been for people. But this show is really, it's all about the, the love between all these different groups of friends. And especially now in a time where people don't get to see the people that they love and the people that they're closest to often. It, it's, again, I feel like it's a form of escapism where people get to really see the the human connection that we haven't been able to experience as much during the pandemic. So I feel like that is one reason that now is a really, really great time to go back to it. What are some of the other projects you've been busy working on lately? Well, uh, school is the <laughs> project that's been taking up most of my time because I'm a high school senior and applying to colleges and all that jazz right now. But as far as acting wise, I just finished my other project, Diary of a Future President, the second season right before I started this show. So uh, check that out as well. Check out Head of the Class on HBO Max and, Di and Diary of a Future President on Disney+. Plus. So those two are the ones that I'm currently dealing with now. What would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the wonderful work you do on our screens? Well, uh, thank you, everyone. Honestly, you don't you don't have to be a, a fan of my work. So I, I just genuinely appreciate all of you. I love all of you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I just thank you. I, I couldn't ask for a better fan base. <laughs>